So we're down in Barnstable. We've come to see Simon at Randall's Tavern. So good to meet you. It's good to meet you. Thanks, for, us down. Thanks for coming down, Andy. So give us the story behind this then. It's an amazing place that you've built. What's the, what's the background? The background was essentially to build something that a place that we would want to go to. Uh, sadly, they don't exist anymore. A lot of the pubs are, are, are closing and you're not getting this uh, eclectic mix of, of uh, games and um, the, the old retro stuff and jukeboxes. You're not seeing it anymore. It's what I like. It's what my, uh, the wife likes. That's what we've tried to create. You definitely have. You've got some amazing pieces that you've collected here. I get the impression that you're probably a very popular place for all your friends and family to come and visit. It is, yeah. We have a lot of, uh, we do a lot of charity functions, a lot of uh, round table functions we have, uh, um, both uh, local Marnsville, Biddeford, Ilfracoom, uh, round tablers and 41 club members. We've hold, held charity events, raising money for mm. mental health charities, air ambulance, other bits and pieces. Ladies Circle have had events here. Difficult day it was for me, I must say, but uh, I got through that one well very done. carefully. So well it's used for a lot of things like yeah. that. Yeah. Well, you've got some amazing stuff. So what's your what's your favourite piece that you've bought then? Uh, I've got various favourite bits. On the plane, the air hockey is a, a fantastic machine that came out of a bowling alley up in uh, up in North London. The other things I do like is the nostalgic pieces like the uh, penny machines, the tutti frutti, which I remember as a child. I like, uh, so the, the nostalgic things like that, the, the quiz machines we always like, always enjoy playing. So it, it goes in fits and starts, various yeah. things um, that we, we, we play on, and we do play on a lot, a lot of the stuff. Jukeboxes, yeah, we've got um, two jukeboxes, uh, both of them NSM, German made ones. One is the Visible Mech vinyl uh, jukebox, and then, which was the last of the, the vinyl uh, jukeboxes when the, the, the also modern CDs come in, which we never thought would take off, uh, but they have, and we got uh, we sort of got brother and sister a CD and a, and a vinyl one, which works very, very well. So you've got an amazing collection of drinks behind your bar here, but you're telling me about your gin collection then, so... Yes, well the gin came as a health thing because uh, I'm a real ale man um, through and through and as I'm supping now, I, uh, that, that's my, my favourite tipple I must say. Um, Country Life Brewery have, uh, have probably been attributable to a lot of my weight gain <laughs> and um, it was suggested that the gin's healthy so uh, off we went and, and, and decided to explore all what I'd learnt with real ale. We put that uh, knowledge to good use with gins so we've got uh, I think there's over two dozen different gins there which uh, so we, 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 we've started and we do uh, we have some lovely gin tasting sessions. So you don't, you've don't got a lot of collections so you've got a lot of Glasses and so on. So, so how, yep. have you, how long have you been collecting this stuff, and where have you been finding it? The we probably started probably. 20 years ago probably with, with some of the stuff but when it started through um, knowing that I was going to have a bar one day and wanted to give the right glass for the right drink so you know if, if you had a um, you know a Bailey's we wanted it a Bailey's glass and that sort of thing and then so I've, I've collected them through social media through eBay through a lot of charity shops a lot of people have donated stuff to me pubs have gone out of business they know that I collect the stuff I've picked up stuff out of skips um, there's various people that have helped me uh, over the years and, and people that own local pubs. Uh, Lilico's and the Agriculture Inn, the Aggie, they've, um, they'll pass stuff on to me when they finish with it. Yeah. So we've got a lot of great support from a lot of people that have helped us create it. So it's a lot, lot of people's effort yeah. that has gone into creating it. I know you've added a few pieces since you went into the competition last year. Have you got yep. any more plans for buying anything more? What's next? Um, Yes, yeah, I think I've got a few years left in me. I think we, we've got, um, subject to the approval of the present Mrs. Randall, we are looking at uh, potentially taking over more, more of the house with um, you know, shifting the casino upstairs to give us a bit more space downstairs in the basement. She's even got a wild idea of, of building a Victorian pier out the front and having an amusement arcade out there, um, which I think would be a cracking idea. Yeah. So if anybody knows of a spare pier going, um, do get in touch with us, because you know, I've, I've got a home for it <laughs> yeah. uh, and do the job properly. Brilliant, that sounds great, superb. Well look, good to see you. Good luck. Thank you very much. Thank you very, Thank very, you very much. Down. It'd be great to come and see you.